Hi, welcome to the Microsoft Word Styles Part 2. In this video, we will see how do we add the created styles to the gallery so that we can access it very quickly. And we will also see how do we create a style only for that particular document. And number three, we will see how do we create a styles across all the documents that you create from now. And similarly, the alignments and the indentations. And finally, we will see a very important topic that is paragraphs and line spacing. In the last video, we have seen how do we create a style and assign to the content. In this video, we will see how do we add the styles to a gallery so that we can assign the style to the content very quickly. Now in this document, I would like to check what is the style that I apply to this content. Now let's say I place the cursor within this heading other side of Rohit Sharma. Now I see on the top the styles gallery. The second heading is being highlighted. Meaning for this content that is the second heading is being applied. Similarly for the content which is general text is a normal style so applied. Also I would like to see what style is applied to the main heading which is the Rohit Sharma. Oh I see there is nothing is being highlighted here. Nothing to worry, but we will see what style is being applied to the main heading. To check that, what we need to do, just go to the Alt OS or just click on this styles window and there you can see for Rohit Sharma, it is the main heading is being applied. But why I am not able to see this main heading in the gallery? To make the main heading visible in the gallery, there is a simple trick, what you need to do is just click here and modify and check this option add to the styles gallery meaning the main heading will be automatically gets visible in the styles gallery let's see this check this add to the styles gallery and click ok now you see the moment I place the cursor in the main heading the style is being highlighted we often see the style that we created on a particular document will retain in that document itself. Meaning, when I open a new word document, the styles that I have created here, main heading and the second heading will not appear. See, in this document, I do not see any styles that I have created in the previous document. That is main heading and the subheading. Now, when I come back to my older document, where I have created a styles, if I require the styles that I have created in this document to be used every new document that I open from now, what we need to do, we need to select the style that you want it to use in each and every document you open from now and say modify and select this option new documents based on this template and click OK. In this case, what happens is the main heading will appear on every new document that you open. Okay, So let's see this. I open a new document now which is Control N. Now you can see the main heading which is already there here. I need not create a styles again. This saves a lot of time and the document looks very consistent because the styles that you created in one document are automatically appear in the other documents that you open from now. We will now see the alignments and the indentations. So in this document, I have created a style for the general content as well. The moment I place the cursor in between the paragraph, there is a general content here. So to set the indentation or the alignments, I need to just modify the style. Let me remind you, let us not do the alignments or the indentations from the paragraph group on the menu. So right click and Modify, Format, and Paragraph. Remember that you are doing it for the general content, which is for the text. Now, if you see the alignments, these are mostly the self-explanatory. I can see here it is the left, center, right, and justified. I am sure you are aware of this because they are very basic things. However, I just want to show you once. Let me select Justified. The moment I select Justified, in the previous section, you will be able to see how this paragraph is going to look like. If you see that both sides of the paragraph 
are equally aligned. I click OK and OK here and you can see this. Both sides of the paragraph are very neatly aligned. However, if you see the other paragraph, this is not you know, aligned properly because I have not yet applied the style to this paragraph. If I do that, this paragraph will also become the justified paragraph. Let's see this general content you can see here. I do the same for the second paragraph as well. Okay, this is what is the alignment. So next, what we have is inundation. Inundation is generally different from alignment. So if you see the inundation here, the left and the right. What is the inundation stands here? Yes, by default it's a zero centimeter, meaning there is no space on the left hand side. However, you are able to see the space which is the margin space. Now, now if you want the paragraph to start after some space, now what you can do here is increase the left inundation spacing. Let's say I give it one centimeter, so then click OK, and OK, you can see this. So this is what happens across the all the paragraphs wherever you have applied the general content. Similarly, we can do it for the right side as well. So modify again, format, paragraph, on the right hand side it is zero, you can just ingest to one centimeter and click OK. Now you can see that there is more space here. So it all depends upon your requirement of how much space you want towards the left and the right side of the paragraph. You see very true interesting special inundation of the paragraphs. The special inundation of the paragraphs are called as first line inundation and the hanging inundation. So what is the difference between these two? So I again just modify this and format paragraph. I make this left and right alignment as zero. Now on the right hand side you see the special here and there's something like a first line inundation. The moment I select the first line from the drop down, you can see this 1.27 cm, meaning on every paragraph, the first line should start after 1.27 cm of spacing. Now just click OK and OK again, and you can see this is the first line inundation. The spacing here generally is 1.27 by default. However, you can increase the space or decrease the spacing according to your requirement. Generally what uh, I have seen people do is if they want the space for the first line of the paragraph, place the cursor and they put multiple spacings here, which is technically incorrect because that does not apply to the, all the paragraph in the document unless and until you apply. However, if you perform this via styles, it will apply to each and every paragraph for which you have applied the paragraph style. Now, what is the hanging inundation? The hanging inundation is just the opposite of the first line inundation. So let's see that in uh, general content, modify, format, paragraph, on the special, again, I can see here, instead of first line, I select hanging and click OK. Now you see the difference is only the first line starts at the extreme left and the other lines of the paragraph leaves the space of 1.27 centimeters. And that is applicable to all the paragraphs wherever you have applied the general content styles. This style of paragraph is very rarely used. We will now see how to set the distance between the lines and the distance between the paragraphs. To begin with, as I mentioned earlier in my videos, it's all about the styles. Never ever to manually by hitting the enter button. Example, if I need a more space between the two styles or two headings in this case, generally what we do is just place the cursor here and keep on pressing enter to give the more spacing. But this is technically incorrect. So how do we manage the space between the headings 
and the paragraphs now let us take here the example this entire content is one category talks about rohit sharma and the second one is all about shikhar dhawan so i need more spacing whenever there is a first heading the content here let us now begin to beautify this paragraphs let us reduce the spacing between the main heading and the content similarly we will also reduce the space between the subheading and the content so that this category looks like as one unit as mentioned we should go with the styles so place the cursor at the main heading and right click modify format paragraph and i see after is a pt pt stands for points meaning in which you know, after main heading there is a spacing which is measuring eight points i would like to reduce that and let's see it's it's six and click okay we see the spacing has drastically reduced and looks like one category now how about the second heading we should do the same process for the second heading too right click modify format paragraph and reduce the after spacing which is 8 to 0 and click okay okay again to close the modify style window now we see that the heading and the content looks like one unit and this is being applied throughout the document you can now see even for the next main heading is automatically gets applied and the spacing is beautified let us now increase the space before the main heading so i do the same process again for the main heading right click modify format paragraph and before you can see that before the main heading there is a zero point that's the reason we will not find much spacing here whenever there is a new heading starts so we will increase the space to 12 and click okay now we see there will be a sufficient space before the heading starts you see that the space has little increased however if you need more space you can increase the points to 24 or 30 and so on now let's talk about the spacing between the lines the spacing between the lines plays a very important role for the look and feel of your content so it's all about how you want the paragraphs to look like the default spacing for the general content is multiple let's see that right click on the general content style modify format paragraph you can see the line spacing is multiple now i would like to increase the space i can now select 1.5 line spacing and click okay okay again now i can see the distance between the lines has increased so it's up to your document template how much spacing you need to set for your documentation i can also increase the space a little bit more by selecting the two line spacing here which is a double line and click okay and this here but generally this is not preferred generally i prefer 1.5 lines between the lines the paragraph for more readability if you can also select if you need more than two line spacing you multiple and select three and click okay click okay here and you can see the distance between the lines has been increased by multiples of 3 now let me bring it back to my favorite settings which is a format paragraph and 1.5 lines and click okay i am sure you like this video and in my next videos there is a lot of interesting things which are hidden in the microsoft word and those are especially for the interview questions and also help your document to look more consistent and give a professional look thank you